Hi guys, so <clears throat> Vlogmas day 7, no day 8, are we day 8, 7, 8, Vlogmas 8, day 8, oh my goodness, as you can probably tell I'm ill, <laughs> uh, yesterday it was too hard for me to vlog, um, my throat wouldn't I couldn't speak. I couldn't. My eyes were so swollen. I was pretty much asleep the whole day on and off. I felt so ill. So ill. I'm just trying to <coughs> vlog today, get through some things. I sound terrible and I, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, but I've got a major sore throat still. Really bad sore throat. Um, really sore throat. I've also got like this spot on my tongue. I kid you not guys, I went to the dentist um, on Thursday uh, and I vlogged on that day. I went to the dentist and um, I've got to tell you what's going to happen. Anyway, I went to the dentist and within the space of me going, like, cr not crying, but me being in the waiting room for the dentist and then me coming out, I literally got this spot on my tongue from being stressed. It was in the matter of, what, an hour. So I've got that now. <laughs> um, anyway, regarding the dentist, I have to have this tooth out. It's right at the back, so <sighs> not good, I know. It's not going to affect me like crazy amount, but it is the one that I chew on. So I don't know how I'm going to deal with it, but I'm just going to see and have to just deal with it, you know. Um, you guys know I, I don't like the dentist, so I'm not looking forward to having it out at all. I don't like injections, especially in my mouth. So, that's what we're doing, um, I just thought I'd let you know, I'm just going to do my brows because we are, <clears throat> we're going out later to my mum's, probably are going to have a few drinks but it's not going to be the same as last week because last week I drank way too much, <laughs> I've just washed my hair with the, with that, um, oh what is it now? L'Oreal Clay Shampoo and Conditioner. I really like it. It's really doing something for my hair. Like, I literally went a few days without washing my hair, and usually I'd have to wash it so quickly afterwards. So, anyway, I've got loads of new products to show you. So, that's what we're gonna do. Um, I thought I would like kind of just do my foundation and my brows and then I'm going to show you some new products oh I feel so freaking poorly ok I found a new trick for my brows usually I draw them, draw them in like a little bit here but I've got this brow gel I showed you guys in the other video this brow gel from Lola Cosmetics and what I've been doing with it is basically it's a clear one so I've just been kind of brushing my brows up and it just makes them look more feathered and more natural and I actually really like it it makes them look more feathered in here and more natural so that's how I'm doing my brows right now um so <coughs> you guys know from oh we nearly fell 
you guys know from the other video that I got the Revolution palette by Imagination. So you are going. So you guys saw me do a look with this palette in the last video. So I really love this palette. But anyway, I've got a few more to show you. I think I've showed you these two as well, the On the Rocks and the Too Faced Peachy. But I have some more to show you. I'm super excited about these ones because these are chocolate palettes. And you guys know I love my chocolate makeup revolution palettes. So the first one is the Soph palette. This is the original one, so I don't know. I haven't used it. I haven't really watched any tutorials on it either, but this is the Soph original palette. So these are, these are some really pretty colours like <clears throat> this is like a base colour. These are like really kind of different. I love that purple there so I'm going to do, I don't know what palette I'm going to use today but that's the Soph original and I've got the extra spice one as well. So this is the Revolution Soph extra spice. I'm going to have a look at this one. I don't know what the differences are but we should have a look. This one's got like a, is that rose gold? Yeah, pretty rose gold front to it. So this is the extra spice one. Oh wow, that is beautiful. I think we should do a look with this one. This is gorgeous. Look at them. And then we've got Makeup Revolution. This is the macaroon. Yep, macaroons. I really love this. Maroon palette, oh, so beautiful. I can't wait to do loads of looks with these guys, honestly. So pretty. And then this is the Lemon Drizzle by Makeup Revolution as well. Oh, oh wow. Oh, look at them, so pretty. I'm in love. And then the other one is the Nudes palette by Makeup Revolution as well. So lovely. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to do... I might do a bit of a look today, you know. I'm wearing red, so I don't know, really know what to do. Um, I actually don't know. I think we should go in with the either the Macaroon. I'm obsessed with this. This looks so pretty. Yeah. So I'm going to do a look with the Macaroon palette. <clears throat> Let me know down below what palette you want to see, like what looks you want to see and what you what palette you want to see next. Beautiful. But first, I'm going to do a conceal because I haven't concealed yet. Um, I've only done foundation. So I'm going to be trying the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full coverage concealer. This one's in the shade C5. I have a feeling this one might be too dark for my skin. I did a bit of a swatch, but um, I might be okay. Let's see how this works. I haven't used this yet, so this is my first time trying this. I've wanted to try it for, for quite a long time now. Okay, yeah, it is very, very good coverage. I think the coverage is really good on that. Ooh, that's really good coverage. Also, it's really like easy to blend and the product goes a long way, which is good. And I actually think that colour is perfect for my skin. Yes, I like it. I approve. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to just apply like a base colour. Um, I'm going to apply this colour Almonds. Where's my big blendy brush? There we go. So I'm going to pick up that colour Almonds. And I'm just going to 
basically apply it all over my eyelid just to kind of get a nice base. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the colour, um, Heavenly Bite, this one, and I'm going to apply that into my crease. That's a really pretty colour. Then I'm going to go in with the colour oh, Baked With Love, it's like darker brown, and I'm going to apply it into my crease again, but kind of below it. I really want to try that Nom Nom colour, but I think I'm going to do a bit of a halo eye. So, I'm going to go in with the colour um, I'm going to go in with the colour Dazzling, this one here and I'm going to apply that on my outer corner This is really pigmented, it looks it So I'm going to put that into my outer corner and then I'm going to do the same on this side. I've been really into this halo eye look at the moment. It just looks like you've done made so much effort when you you haven't basically. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't matter about the mess under here because we're going to clear that up. So then I'm going to do the exact same colour in the inner corners. So just taking that dazzling again. I'm going to do it in the inner corners here. I always do this. I always say, right, I'm going to do a really natural look. And then we get on, and as soon as I open my palette, it's like, not natural in the slightest. So, now what I'm going to do is, with that concealer, I'm going to basically apply a little bit onto the back of my hand. We're going to apply like a little bit of concealer in the middle. There we go. I'm trying to do it so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing as well. Okay. So, I think I'm going to go in with this whisk colour, this nice gold. I don't know, you know. I think it will look nice with a gold. Or should we do blue? No, we've got blue. So, in the middle, um, first of all I'm just going to kind of set that concealer. So I'm going to take that almond colour again. And I'm just going to go over the concealer just so we've set it all in place and it's not like sticky. So I'm going to go in with the colour Whisk, this really nice gold. I'm going to pick quite a bit up and I'm going to apply it in the middle. Like that. So there we go. Then with that big fluffy brush I'm going to take that colour, Finishing Touch, which is like the darker blue. Look at it all down my face. We're going to sort it, don't worry. I'm just going to go on the outer corner again. And in the inner corner. A 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a fluffy brush. I'm going to go over the crease again. So I'm going to take the colour Heavenly Bite. That first crease colour. And I'm going to go in the crease and just blend it all in nicely. So you may find that you might have to top this blue colour up. Like on the outer corners. Just a section. And in the inners as well. And then using that fluffy brush. Just blend it all in nicely. Okay, so now we're going to go and clear it all up. Now with my stippling brush, I'm just going to wipe it all away just so we can get rid of them dark patches. See, I usually do my eye makeup first because then I won't have this issue. But it's okay. So now, <clears throat> I'm going to find a colour and I'm going to highlight my brow with it. I think I'm going to use coconut and I'm just going to highlight my brow. Oh my god, they smell. I didn't even realise. This palette smells. The colours smell. I, I don't like coconut, but I could smell that. Yeah, that smells of coconut. The eyes. <coughs> so, my poor throat. Oh, my throat hurts so much. Um. So now we need a little mascara. You know, I'm just going to stay natural. I really want to get my extensions redone. I want to get my extensions back, my lash extensions, because with lash extensions you're just always like prepared. But look at this mascara, look at the difference between that one and that one, it's crazy. This is from, I remember this is from Outdoor Girl but this is from the pound shop, I picked it up in the pound shop a long time ago and it's such a good mascara, I kid you not, like look at the difference, it's crazy. That is it. That's what we're rocking today. Make sure there's no blue. I can see that blue on my face. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair, to be honest. I might just let it air dry. But, anyway. <clears throat> I think I'm going to swatch the other ones as well because we've got a few new palettes here. Um, why have I got my arm up? <laughs> oh my god. I'm just going to put all my brushes away. I'm going to start by trying to be more organised, guys, because it's just New Year's resolution. <laughs> I need to be more organised with everything. Everything. I'm going to do some swatches because I haven't done any swatches in a while on my Instagram. So these are the stencils. I get them in a PR package by this brand called Forever Swatch. And I'm blessed, I'm so grateful for that because I love swatching. It, it literally is one of the best things I love doing. Um, so, I think I'm going to swatch the Macaroon palette. <clears throat> so this is the sticker stencil I'm going to be using. I'm guessing they're like snowflakes or something. And I'm going to pop it on my arm. I get a lot of questions on how I do my swatches, so... Here we go. You can see for yourself. If you're not following my Instagram, you should be because I love swatching. I have two Instagrams. One for like personal blogging, YouTube, and the other one is for just solely swatching makeup. So, I don't know what colours we should do. Whatever we do is going to be pretty because this palette is gorgeous. I think the first colour I'm going to do is Nom Nom because it's stunning. Is that straight? I think so. Yeah. Oh wow. Let me 
You can see better now. So, this is Nom Nom. Oh, beautiful. This is like a little behind the scenes how I swatch my makeup. So that's Nom Nom. Um, I think I'm gonna pick up a different colour now. I'm gonna go with the colour Petite. So pretty. Wow, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Then I'm going to go in with the colour. Um, maybe blueberry. Does this smell? Oh my god, it does. It smells of blueberries. Arr! Amazing. This one's not as pigmented. baby what are you barking at who are you barking at huh who are you barking at then I'm gonna go with the colour because we're doing shimmers so I'm gonna go in with the colour finishing touch And then all you do is you just peel it off like that. <sighs> Blow the crap away. Try and stick it back on. And then when you go to use it again, you just spray over, wipe this off, and then you can use the stencil again. So there we go. So head over to my Instagram and you will see what it looks like. Don't